Can you hear that noise? Can you hear that noise? If I show you Awesome Miner, you can see I'm playing around with a new coin I saw so called Seki. I've been trying lots of different coins. This one uses an algorithm called LIDAR 2 Rev 2, but it is very, very noisy. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just quickly change over. I'll change over to LIDAR 2 Z. It is more efficient, but more importantly for this video, it is a lot quieter. So the fans will come down. So, on the subject of changing algorithms, I want to talk about Equihash 1445. This is what a lot of the Equihash coins are going to go to. Um, safe coin confirmed um, today. And you can see here, hello everyone, just to make it official, we've decided to fork to Equihash 1445 and we'll work with Bitcoin Z and other Equihash coins on this move. So, I'm going to talk about it in this video. Um, I talked about this a month ago uh, in this video. And Bitcoin Z are calling it Zhash, but it had been proposed by other people in the past uh, before. But this was the, the Bitcoin Z article that I referenced last time. But the one I'm going to reference just now is a uh, Bitcoin Gold's article. Uh, because they explain it a little bit better in this article. And they are moving to this as well. Now, th there are a few more uh, coins that are moving to this algorithm. I know that coins like Bitcoin Private and all these other coins are making an announcement at the end of this week. So we're going to see more news coming from other coins like Bitcoin Private, Zencash and all this very soon. But right, no, right now, I know that um, Bitcoin Z, Bitcoin Gold, Safecoin and a few others are moving towards this uh, 1445. So when I talk about 1445, we're talking about the parameters. You can see here the parameters. And right now, Equihash uses 209. Now, I don't want to get too technical in this video. One reason is because I'll end up sounding like an idiot because when you're talking about the Equihash parameters, you're talking about the actual Equihash algorithm and it is very complex mathematics. Actually, I mean, I did a mathematics degree, but I sat down and had a quick overlook, just a quick look at the white papers and all that about Equihash. But quite frankly, there wasn't any benefit for me to kind of look over it all. Um, it's not the most exciting thing to read. But really, the two, the two main parameters um, that people focus on have been uh, N and K. N equals 200, K equals 9. That is what it's based on just now. Now, there's a few interesting things in this article. Um, you can see just now that it says Equihash requires a minimum of 50 megabytes of memory, but can run much faster with 144 megabytes of memory. Now, as it says here, this was based on um, you know what was happening in 2017. And in 2017, they realized the ASIC miners couldn't you know, mine with that uh, that memory requirement. Things have changed. Things have changed, and this is why they're moving to this one four four five. Um, so one four four five actually increases the amount of memory to run. Um, it says requires a minimum of seven hundred megabyte to run, and use about two hundred two and a half gigabyte of memory to run efficiently, seventeen times larger. So, if you have a, a ten sixty three gigabyte you could be on the line on, you know, how well this runs this algorithm. But uh, it should, I don't know, I don't know for certain, I haven't tested it. I've got, I've got 6 gigabyte uh, 1060s, so I, I haven't tested it. But in theory, in theory, it should be okay. Um, but it talks about here as well, the new parameters have a few other advantages. It's smaller solution size, faster validation. So there are reasons to jump to this, um, you know, this different uh, parameter setup. I assume they didn't do this in the past because they would have excluded you know, some of the lower end cars like 1050s and all that at the time. But yeah, they're, they're moving towards this increased algorithm. Equihash 1445, which you're going to need about two and a half gigabytes of memory to run in your GPUs. Now, I think the question that everyone's asking and, you know, probably the, the main criticism is that this is a temporary measure. And, you know, time will tell from what people have said, and you know, the Z9 minis have been delivered over the last week or so, and there's more being delivered over the next few weeks. And the, the hash rate for Equihash is going to jump through the roof. So just expect the difficulty to spike. But as far as whether Z9 can do this, what Bitcoins are calling Z hash or what, you know, it's 1445, uh, as far as what um, whether these Z9s could be changed, Right now, I don't believe they can. I haven't tested this myself, but looking at what other people have said, I don't believe they can. Whether the, the upcoming Z9 can do it, from what they are saying, again, I don't believe it can. But 
it wouldn't surprise me. And I'm not trying to be negative, but it wouldn't surprise me if in six months' times or in nine months' time, we find out the Bitmain have made something that can mine 1445. Now, I'm not saying this is a temporary measure. It might be fine for six months. It might be fine for a year, a year and a half, maybe even two years. I don't, we don't know at this point. But, you know, the fact that they've increased um, the memory requirements by 17 times, I don't think long term it would stop anyone from making a machine that could mine this algorithm. But what it is, is a reminder that this whole GPU versus async mining thing, it's a whole game, it's a, a game of cat and mouse. When they, you know, solve a problem, when they release a product that can do an algorithm, the GPU miners then tweak things, they change the parameters, they change the requirements, Bitmain or whoever else, you know, they come out and then they do something different again and then, you know, it goes like this. We've seen this time and time again. So, um, I just wanted to do a quick video about this because there's going to be a lot of news about this over the next week or so, you know, about Equihash coins moving to this 1445. But from a mining thing, you don't really have to worry about the, the N parameter, the A parameters. You don't have to worry about all these calculations. The main thing you really have to worry about is the fact that the memory requirement is going to go from about 144 megabytes to... And that's a little bit confusing considering the 200 has 144 megabytes. But it's going to jump from 144 megabytes to about 2.5 gigabytes of memory. So if you've got a very old GPU, you could be screwed. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll leave links to all these articles so you can check them out for yourself. Let me know what you think about all this. I know that you guys mine. I know that you guys have invested in coins that are changing algorithm. So let me know how this affects you and give me your thoughts on it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Take care.